give up because I have Allah with me. I'm doing this for Allah. When Allah becomes our goal, nothing can stop us from reaching it, inshallah. Jannah is our destination, my dear sisters. Me driving from here to Buffalo keeps me going for those 10 hours because I'm reaching my destination. Similarly, us in this life, this is a journey. This is a travel. In the travel of our life, we have, we're going to keep pushing through any challenge we face, thinking that our destination is Jannah. Our destination is Jannah. No matter what happens, inshallah, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep striving. We know Allah is with us. Right? We know we're all sisters, we're one body, and our destination is Jannah. Let us look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will beat us, what Allah has been has planned for us, and what is waiting there. Allah tells us in the Quran so that we visualize, so that we understand, so that when we're going through hard times, we open the Quran and see, look, this is what's for me. It's okay. This this is probably for today. It's for tomorrow. People are calling me names, people are telling me this, people are telling me that. But Allah has this for me. So I'll, it's okay. I can get through this. Right? So let's go into this. But those who fear their Lord will be driven to paradise in groups until when they reach it. So they are by the gates now. So they're coming into Jannah, Zumara, as groups. Right? The friends holding hands, the loved ones. When you guys help each other, when we help each other get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're friends for the sake of Allah. The friendship for the sake of Allah is unbreakable, my dear sister. It's so unbreakable that even you will enter Jannah together. The doors of Jannah, you guys are entering into groups. Who are you entering with? What are those groups? The people who help you get closer to Allah. We won't ever break up. The friends that are friends for the sake of Allah, my dear sisters, will never break up. The friendship will get stronger every day. Sister, until we enter Jannah together, that is our destination. So they will enter Jannah in groups. And what will happen at the gate? Who will be there to, uh, to greet them, to, to invite them, to welcome them? It will, it, it, while its gates have been opened, and its key pills will say, so the gates will be open. You're seeing Jannah. We're coming in groups. We're seeing guardian angels on both sides of the, of the Jannah doors. What are these angels saying to us? Peace be upon you. You have become pure. So enter it to abide eternally therein. You know when the angels say this? All of our griefs are going to be gone. Anything. You know, anything you went through. The hardest test of this life. The hardest challenges we went through. Angels will say, this you abide in here forever. Right? You have earned this. Right? This, this is what you, they will say. Peace be upon you. They say, Assalamu alaikum. They will say that. Assalamu alaikum. You have become pure. Libtum. Sadhuluha khalidin. Enter the, these gates and stay in there forever. This is your Jannah. No one can take you out. No one can ever do anything to you. This is your this is your kingdom. And they will say, Praise to Allah. Who are they? Now these are the believers. These are those who, stri who strive in this life, who came, overcome, came the challenges. Thinking that Jannah is waiting for them. What will they say? When they see that they have finally been given what they were what they were promised. And they will say, Praise to Allah who has fulfilled for us his promise and made us inherit the earth so we may settle in paradise wherever we will. So this is Jannah, this is their home. They're gonna pray. they can stay eternally. Right? Can someone please help open the door first? Okay, and excellent is the reward of righteous workers. When they see their reward, they're going to say, you know what? Whatever we strive for, it was all worth it. Because this is what we're getting at the end. Right? This is what we're getting at the end. So, subhanAllah. And what will happen at, at, at that time? And you will see the angels surrounding the throne. The angels, the very close angels, the ones that are very, the ones around, the, the angels around the throne are those who are very close to Allah. They're in close proximity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're very, they're very, they're, they're the noble angels. They have a special ring, the ones who are around the throne of Allah. And you will see the angels surrounding the throne, exalting Allah with praise of their Lord. And it will be judged between them in truth. And it will be said to them, all praise to Allah, Lord of the world. SubhanAllah. Allah is saying that we will never be unjust. We will always do justice to the people. So whatever challenges we go through, my dear sisters, we have to remember our destination is Jannah. We have to remember our partners are our good friends, our good company. Our good company that will, we will enter in Jannah with these people, my dear sisters. There is no separation for those who love for the sake of Allah. No separation.